All right? Now, let's talk a little bit about the fiqh in this sense. There is adab to dua. There are manners you have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in dua. In this hadith, the Prophet ordains them upon you and you have no choice in it. What are the adab that you make wudu? Because you have to pray two rak'ah, right? Look at how the Prophet ﷺ puts you in a place where he's trying to make your dua more answerable. Because it's critical to your happiness in life. Make dua. Do a righteous deed. Do something voluntary that isn't written upon you. Something that you bring yourself to Allah's attention that isn't something written. You're doing something voluntary, something extra. So the Prophet says, don't make it a salah that Allah's ordered you because you have to do that. Do a salah that's extra. And make the dua after the salah. Now here the ulama, they have two opinions. The majority is that it is after the salam. Assalamu alaikum, wassalamu alaikum. Then you make dua al istikhara. While seated in the position of tashahud. While seated immediately after salah. In the same place, you just finished your prayer. And this, some of our Imams, even Al Imam ibn Jibreel, uh, Shaykh ibn Jibreel, rahmatullahi alayhi, the teacher of our teachers, he writes in his book about the importance of making dua after salah. That this is evidence that dua is honored after salah. Salatul istikhara is something you make dua immediately after salah. You stay seated in your tashahud facing the qibla, all of this makes your dua more likely to be answered. Although the Prophet ﷺ does not recommend and does not say it here that you should put your hands up to Allah, all of the imams of, uh, of fiqh, they say that you should raise your hands in making this dua because you're begging of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance. You're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his guidance. So you put your hands and cup your hands to Allah. And therefore we've said, so part of you making the dua of Salat al-Istikhara is to do the things that will lead your istikhara to be accepted. Some of the Imams of Fiqh, they have said, just like you're doing Salah before it, you should also do the things that you normally do for your dua to be accepted. Adding Salah upon the Prophet ﷺ before it or after it is seen as mustahab, it's not conditional to it. Making your salah upon the Prophet ﷺ. We know from the tradition and the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ that any dua without the salah upon the Prophet ﷺ is deficient. This is the word of your Rasul ﷺ. So increase your prayers for me. Allahumma salli ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman kathira. So give sadaqah before Salatul Istikhara, after Salatul Istikhara is seen as mustahab. Being a person who is in the assistance of others, when you're asking Allah to be in your assistance, makes your Istikhara more readily answerable. Aisha radiallahu anha, one of her famous students, he said, Istikhartu thalathan. He was making a decision about his wife. And this is, he's making a decision about, you know, sensitive issues in his family. He said, I made istikhara three times. And for this reason, some of the imams have said that salatul istikhara and dua al istikhara can be made multiple times. And some of the imams have said, the more you make it, the more urgent it is between you and Allah, the easier it is for you to find resolution for this problem. So you know you're going to be going to buy that car in the morning, do it at night and do it again before you go out and do it after your faj and make sure that you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his help, his assistance, for his knowledge, for his power and for what will lead you in the right way bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. So those are some of the fiqh issues that are attached. Now let's end by clearing some of the misconceptions inshaAllah.